Hi everybody, this is Sin with Twisted True Cindy. How you guys all doing? Welcome to the circus, the Watts Family Circus. <laughs> After he failed the polygraph miserably and he confessed to his dad, walked whine to his dad, why did this happen? Why did this happen to those two little girls? Those two little girls, okay. Chris Watts was under police radar almost immediately because of his actions. According to him, his wife and two little girls vanished on August 13th, but he was the one ultimately responsible for their deaths, and he claimed that they were on a play date. In actuality, he had been having an affair for five weeks, allegedly, and he premeditated these horrific acts. On August 15th, he gave false statements to CBI and Frederick PD. He actually believed he would get away with familicide. On that same day, agents interviewed Ronnie Watts, his dad. Here are some excerpts of what Ronnie told CBI. My wife had a hard time getting along with her. My wife thinks narcissist personality is what she has. Bipolar. Man, they seem to really like that word. She told my son, if you ever cheat on me, I'll turn it on you tenfold. A while back. I don't know if that had anything to do with what happened. No, I don't think so, Ronnie. They asked about her ex-husband, Shanann's ex-husband. Ronnie said she more or less wanted Chris to look like him. Asked about his son's weight loss. He blamed Shanann, of course. He did that to make her happy. He was asked if he was aware if they had any money issues, and he said, not to my knowledge, no. About Shanann, he said she was hard to get along with. Her and my wife had a falling out twice. She came to North Carolina six or seven weeks ago. She has mood swings. She's zero to 60 in no time. CBI, who told you that? My son did a couple days ago, or whatever. My son told her he didn't love her. A couple of weeks ago. He said he should have done it a long time ago. She said it was all Chris's idea about getting pregnant. Nah. He said he was going to tell her he wanted a separation. CBI asked, is it possible that he hurt the girls? Ronnie said he took care of them 24-7. I mean, really, Ronnie? No. Not true. 
He was doing push-ups on Facebook the other day. One thing, last week or this week, Bella and Cece had these dolls, three or four foot tall. It was laying on one of the couches with a sheet over it. Now it looks like a trash bag. From head to toe. She was saying that the girls did that. But on FaceTime, the doll had only been covered up halfway. Not like a dead person. So on Friday, Watts had taken this picture and sent it to Shanann. She posted it on her Facebook. And she commented, I don't know what to think about this. And then later that day, she said, why did you cancel your Facebook account? And right after that, Ronnie asked Chris if he deleted his Facebook account. Chris replied, yes, sir, I liberated myself. Ronnie said, I'd never seen him get pissed off about anything. Any history of mental illness in your family? No, but she's unstable. So on August 15th, Watts confessed to the murder of his wife, Shanann. He had already failed a polygraph test. And he initially blamed Shanann for murdering their two daughters. CBI agents Graham Coder and Tammy Lee interviewed Watts. Watts did not confess to agents Coder and Lee. He initially confessed to his father, Ronnie Watts. In the recent Oxygen series, Criminal Confessions, CBI agent Tammy Lee explained their decision to allow Ronnie Watts to speak alone with his son Chris. Chris Watts unexpectedly had asked, can I talk to my dad? I need to talk to my dad. Uh, we didn't know where Ronnie's head was. We didn't know if Ronnie was out in the lobby upset, if he was like, why is my kid back there so long? Um, if Ronnie would come in and, you know, convince his kid to get a lawyer and, you know, leave. And we just, there were so many things in play at that moment that it was such a risky move. Um, and we had to really make a split, split second decision on whether we could allow Ronnie back into the interrogation room or not. So prior to Watts disclosing the events surrounding their death and the location of their bodies, Firestone Police located the missing fitted bed sheet from the Watts home. These are very disturbing images. This is the sheet he used to wrap his wife, Shanann. They also located a rake uh, head and two black plastic trash bags. They used a drone for the search. And in the field next to Survey 319 oil site, they discovered an area of freshly moved dirt near the cleared driveway area of the site. This is very disturbing. This is the area where he dug the shallow grave to dispose of his pregnant wife, Shanann. CBI agent Tammy Lee states, Chris was not in custody. He had every right to walk out of that room. They explained to Watts that his father had flown across the country to support him and that he wanted to know the truth, that he deserved to know the truth. We wanted to bring up Chris's father because we knew how important he was in his life. Um, we knew that Chris 
if he was honest with anyone, it would probably be his father. He trusted his father. That was very clear to us. Uh, he thought the world of his father. So we wanted to let him know, like, your father would want you to tell the truth, too. So Ronnie asked Chris, well, what happened? Chris said, first contradicts himself. He said he didn't hear anything when he went downstairs that morning. Then he said he heard a commotion upstairs, but he didn't think anything of it. He said she heard them. Ronnie said she heard them. I don't know, like, what else to say, like, I freaked out. And then I killed her. Ronnie, what now? You heard her? No, he said kill, Ronnie. Did she kill them? Good God Almighty, son. Mom always said she was a nasty, evil person. But I never thought in a million years this could happen. Chris, I'm going to fucking... According to Tammy Lee, this was a make or break moment. I didn't think Chris would actually admit to anything uh, to his father. I had hoped he would, but to actually hear that come out of his mouth um, was shocking. After he confessed, the agents rejoined Watts and his father. Agent Tammy Lee rubbed Watts' shoulder. She asked him if he was doing okay. She didn't ask him because she was concerned about him. She could tell Chris was not comfortable with her rubbing his shoulder. And she wanted him to be uncomfortable. The odd thing to me is that Ronnie had not yet left the room when Chris turned to his dad when they were alone and he said, Did you tell mom yet? I think Ronnie already knew what his son had done. That's it for now, guys. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye-bye.